welcome Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of December the 30th to January the 6th, 2020. Wow. Happy New Year, all my beautiful Sagittarians. <clears throat> we start off right away with wanting me wanting to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing. For those of you that are new, if you do subscribe, be sure to click the bell button, make it ring, hit the like button, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my videos are out here for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is a collective general reading, and that means not every single card will resonate with every single Sagittarius out there, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you and welcome you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of my video here, and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video. All you have to do is send me an email, and I'll walk you through this. Now, we are doing the Celtic cross again, <clears throat> and this is the all over energy right here in the middle that's crowning this reading, where you are now. This is the energy coming in below you, the energy coming in above you, the energy coming in behind you and towards you. We start off right off the bat with the King of Cups, better known as King of Raphael and the Angel Tarot. And it's safe for you to trust any advice coming in. This king may be coming towards you and giving you some heartfelt advice. This could be a water sign, uh, you know, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio that's coming in to lend you a hand with a situation or something going on in your life right now. Trust him. Trust him because he's generous and honorable. He, he will definitely step up. I want to say this is a male figure, but it could be a female figure as well. Uh, you know, the female uh, can step up and take, a, you know, leadership as well. But I do see that for a lot of you, it may be a male figure that's stepping up. Know that it's safe for you to trust his advice and trust your own intuition. You have the ability right now to accomplish a whole lot of things if you put your mind to it, okay, at once. You're very, very creative, and by following your creative passions, you will succeed. But you may need someone to step in and say, hey, I've been there. I know how to advise you. I can tip you off to the right people. Um, I'll go over your resume with you, or I'll sit with you, and I'll hold your hand through a situation. You need my help. So trust this king. He's an emotional king. He's an amazing king. Uh, his energy is beautiful, and he's trustworthy. When he comes across with some advice, it's heartfelt. He doesn't want anything else in, in <clears throat> place of it because he is very he's very um, uh, charitable okay now speaking of charity I think some of you may be getting involved in doing something some sort of charitable act paying it forward it could be as simple as cleaning out your closet and sending your clothes to goodwill or it could be that over Christmas time some of you got involved in some sort of act of charity and you may want to continue that you may want to be involved in that or, or continue it through the following year you have choices here to make. You've got the Seven of Raphael, which is the Seven of Cups. Again, another Cups, another emotional issue in your life right now. And this is about you staying disciplined. Maybe you're working towards better worth ethics. And, you know, you may be changing course right now and struggling to make a decision. Okay? I want you to listen to your own intuition. All right? Uh, but also trust the advice coming in from this king. You have, this is the eeny, meeny, miny, mo card, I call it. This is about you making a very important choice and decision in your life. I want you to weigh your options, okay? I want you to be open-minded, and I want you to be objective when you make this decision of what it is you're going to choose to do or pick, okay? You've had some struggles, but you've pushed through them. This is an eight of wands. You've pushed through the worst, okay? Sagittarius, you now can go forward because you stayed due diligent. You stayed determined, okay? And you're moving forward. This is a forward direction. What's behind you is behind you. You still have assistance and support to keep going on, even though you felt the struggle beat you up, okay? I want you to keep your eyes open again for any possibilities coming towards you. Now, this shows me also that some of you may be involved. <clears throat> when we talked about the charitable act here with the King of Cups, you may be getting involved in something to do with horticulture or the environment. You may become an active, you know, you might be want, want to be involved and be, an act, and be active in that, okay? This could be an environmental activism 
uh, pursuit that you're going after. So stay focused, keep going. Never mind about the naysayers and those who criticized you or those that are trying to determine your the move, next move on your path. Let it go. These, this drama you don't need in your life and you don't need someone else determining your happiness and peace and the direction you want to live your life in, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Coming in behind you, you've been given the page of Gabrielle. And that's the page of wands. And wands are all about moving forward and taking taking action and following our heart and our passion. And this is being able to look on the horizon, see where you want to go, plan and plot and do it, okay? You're really ready for any challenge right now. You're able, this is the right time, you're ripe to make any changes and move forward and do something new maybe with your life right now. There's opportunities coming in towards you that are going to lead you to some excitement and adventure. And that's what this page is about, moving on, being energetic and brave and optimistic but still having a good time doing it coming towards you 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 you're not seeing the entire picture okay this is the eight of Michael the eight of swords and this talks about uh, being able to free yourself if you feel you're tied down to a situation in your life right now or a phase in your life let it go okay remove the blindfolds untie yourself and walk away from it okay uh, you know that you're not seeing the whole picture right now and you've got yourself up in your head and you think you're stuck in a situation and you're not okay you can free yourself I want you to make the courageous choices to change your situation you can do it you have this ability to do it so don't be afraid okay this is about choices and decisions and it may have to do with a relationship for some of you that you've been not wanting uh, to walk away from but you know the best thing is to do that or maybe it's where you were living or maybe it was uh, you know being around someone who was bringing in negative uh, energy and influences towards you make the changes now because you're not seeing the whole picture clearly and once you do you're going to be able to move forward you're going to be able to move forward in a better direction Coming in uh, with the Lennerman, someone around you may have been conniving and sneaky, okay? They had the ability to watch you and come in after dark and, you know, sneak something away from you or take something away from you. Don't allow this, this to happen to you. Keep this sneaky one away from you, okay? You've had your trials and tribulations. There's been storms, so many storms, Sagittarius, that you've had to weather. But now the sun's going to shine because you are going to make the right choices and decisions now. And you're going to be able to move forward in a much more beautiful, brighter direction. True love may be coming in to some of you. Okay? You may have walked away from one and, and given it time and moved on to a new one. But this is everlasting love. This is forever love. This is a lifetime love. Birds take a mate for life, okay? If they lose their mate, well, they may take another mate. But in the meantime, when they've chosen a mate that is here with them on the earth, walks with them, swims with them now, it's forever. So some of you will be meeting someone new, and it will be an everlasting love. Some of you it may be love at first sight. Uh, some of you, this person will help love you and heal you through a broken heart. There's a woman around you. Trust her. She's amazing. Just like this King of Cups, she's honest as the day is long. She wears her heart on her sleeve, but she doesn't sugarcoat anything. You can ask this woman anything, and she will give you a truthful, straight-up answer. Okay? And she, anything you want to know that she can give you an answer to, she will. So someone around you, uh, could be a friend, it could be your partner, it could be your mother, your sister, your aunt, uh, somebody. It could even be some legal evil. Okay, some lawyer or some judge that you need to ask a question or be have them in your end of the ring and trust them. Trust and sit on every word. Coming in with the tea leaf messages, you have been given the seahorse. You may be dealing with some family issues this week. Okay, and it doesn't mean they're going to be bad. All right, it just means you will be collaborating and communicating with people in your family to either solve a problem or maybe you're just going to celebrate and have a great time. Maybe you're going to the beach. That's the seahorse. Maybe you're taking a trip together. You've been given the yoke, feeling tied down and frustrated. So I want you to stop this because these two cards have already demonstrated that. Okay, you, you just have to let go. Let go of the past to move on. And you are moving forward. You've got through the worst of your struggles. So don't feel tied down to a situation. You're in the process of moving forward and keep going in that direction, Sagittarius. You've been given the elephant and the elephant says a long journey either physical mental or mental will leave you wiser at the end so you know what you may be you may be meeting family you may be taking a trip to be with family maybe it's overseas or maybe you're taking a holiday together okay and this may be a soul searching vacation for some of you maybe you're taking um, you know a sabbatical maybe you want to go somewhere to a retreat 
Beautiful. What do you need to surrender to, Sagittarius? You need to surrender your own intuition. So turn in to your inner voice. Tune into your inner voice, sorry. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So seeing things with the third eye, okay? Uh, being able to see clearly, like I said, you need to remove the blinders, okay? You've allowed this situation to hold you down too long. Remove those blinders, see the whole picture, and then you're going to be able to move forward. And maybe because of the advice someone gave you, they opened your eyes now to see. The worst is behind you. You're moving forward, and you're going to be able to plan and follow your passion. Beautiful. And it's all because you're going to make the right choices and decisions here this week. So tune in and surrender to your own intuition. Trust what you're seeing is real, okay? Believe it. Manifest it. You'll see it. Beautiful. Crossing this reading you have been given from the Nature's Whispers card. Let love be your beacon. So we have that beautiful card down there of the swans, everlasting love. So I want you now to lead with love. Okay, and that's all about forgiveness and letting things go. Because when you enter into a new situation, I want you to see love at the forefront okay if it is a tense situation or a work environment do a visualization exercise of filling the space with bright beautiful love for everyone involved including yourself easier said than done I get it but you know what when you do that oh what a relief acknowledge what is going on and be willing to change how you are approaching this and you know what communication uh, is what you will have greater prospect to create what you're looking for by being harmonious when you're communicating Okay, focus on the light within you. Imagine this light shining out of you. Your inner light will permit you to see the world with new eyes and learn new things every day of your life. So lead with love. Some days it's harder than others. I get it. Been there, done it. But when we do and we pull out the good and the lesson that we get from a situation, even if it's challenging, that's letting love come out. Beautiful. Oops. Now, answers from the angels. If you had an answer, you were wondering about it, look what you're getting. My beautiful Sagittarius, abundance. And it can come in the form of time, effort, support, and love. So, great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will be prosperous, providing a sense of security about your future. So, some of you may be getting a check. You may be getting, you know, an, an inheritance, a raise, something. And your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not only financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends. Maybe, you know, you even want to manifest vibrant health or a romantic love coming into you. You know, it also reflects an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. So open your arms, my beautiful Sagittarians, to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire and want. So abundance can come in in many forms. Like I said, time, effort, support, good health, beautiful relationships, you know, it can happen. So manifest it, lean into it, and know that abundance will be coming into some of you. Well, what do you need to focus on today? Let's see what we need to focus on today for my Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to focus on today, please? Divine Spirit, please send me the message that they need to focus on. Thank you very much. One card, please. Or Sagittarius. Well, that's too many. Okay, we only need one. Thank you. One card. Thank you. Let's see if we turn in this way. So give me one card. One card. One card. One card. One card, please. No, apparently not. All right. There it is. Take your power back. Okay? Don't allow it to hold yourself back here. Sagittarius, remove the font blindfold or step up into your power. Make those choices. Take your power back. <clears throat> Do not allow someone to steal it away from you. Okay? You deserve to have the power to move forward. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful Sagittarius, this is your reading for today. The week of December the 30th to January the 6th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And remember... The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So Sagittarius, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. 
Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon, Sagittarius.